the two national anthems beginning with Nigeria. That was the national anthem of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Let's now have God bless our homeland, Ghana. It's action stations here at the Accra Sports Stadium. Welcome one and all, wherever you're watching us, you're live on Max TV as we bring you Ghana's aim to conquer the rest of the continent. And in this case, the Super Falcons of Nigeria in this competition. Like we told you earlier on, the first leg match ended in a 0-2 advantage for the Nigerians. And Ghana would have to stand tall in this afternoon's encounter. At least redeem, redeem the two goals would be the task. Mercy Tegukwaku has Fafali Dumehase in goal. Porsche Buache will captain the side that will include Justice Chunebua, Gladys Anphobia, Janet Ajiri, Nina Noshi, Naomi Enima, Grace Asantua, Prince Dubia, Sonia Opoku, and Grace Enima. They form the first 11 of the Ghana national team, talking about the Black Queens. Captain for the uh, afternoon, Porsche Buache. We're expecting nothing. But good and hard work from him. Of course, the Nigerians are captained by uh, Oshuala Asisat. And of course, uh, she's a household name. So a lot of people know her very well. And uh, we'll take a look at the Nigerian side uh, in just a second. But these are the officials for the match. So Madre Son Sonia Corey is in charge of the uh, game. And so obviously, officials are looking ready for hostilities to begin. Let's take a look at the Nigerian side. Naduzi Chian Taka is in goal. Asisa Toshuala will be the captain. Then we have Monday Gift, Ohale Osinachi, Ogbona Glory, Ebi Onome, Kano, they all in there. Together with Payne Antoinette Oyipode, Oshuala Asisa is the captain. Otu Regina Imbiang, Sande Opeyimi Anu, and Ajiba De Rashidat Bosayo. That's the head coach, Mercy Tego Kwaku. In your shot, she says nothing but sweet victory and revenge over the Nigerians. Is what is key here today. I'm here in commentary position with Jude Achiampong, and of course, Esther Abankwa will be supporting us as we go along. Jude, what do you make of this return encounter? The Black Queens, you know, the Super Falcons are a hard nut to crack. They are a wonderful side. They can give you competition if you want to. So they're taking the lead with that two goal advantage. It means we must play above ourselves. You know, the head coach. Messi uh, Tego Kwaku was talking about the physicality of, uh, and as the head coach of uh, the Super Falcons, yeah. Wadrant Randy, the American, he is in charge and uh, he took over around October last year. Commencement of hostilities here at the Accra Sports Stadium as the Black Queens kick off. They are playing from right to left. They are sporting the national colors, predominant yellow. Captain Porsche Buache will be supporting from uh, defense. And they've got a lot of opportunities up front to move. We are very intelligent. We want to see that those intelligence come to play here uh, in Accra. So we need to redeem that two goals. First exchanges of the game as the Nigerians uh, come forward. Sande Upeyimi has set up an attack. Kanuchina 
Uh, nothing could come from here. Kano Ichena by the ball into enemy territory. Now the Nigerians have an opportunity to come forward. Ball has been taken away from Ajibade. It comes to the near side now when the Nigerians are getting forward. Ajibade sets up the pass. Downfield nicely in the midfield by Porsche. Not effectively done. Wild run Randy Marlon and Messi Tegokwaku are on their feet. Free kick advantage to the Niger Nigerians floated in by Ebi Onome. No problems at all. Nigeria have a lot of experience in their team. That free kick was taken by one of the uh, long lasting players in the Super Falcons lineup, Ebi Onome. And quite apart from the experience, they look very athletic. They look so solid at the back as well. Yeah. Peculiar tax of ensuring that they overturn the two goal deficit that they ha happen to have conceded way back on Wednesday in Nigeria. And that is just a side coming up against Nigeria, the Super Falcons, a side that has managed to make it to every addition of the Women's African Cup of Nations since inception in way back in 1991. The last time Ghana, the Black Queens of Ghana couldn't qualify for Afghans was in Equatorial Guinea. That was way back in 2012. So it's really a very tough encounter for both sides, especially for the Black Queens of Ghana, because they know they have a very, very huge tax ahead. But I might say that Having watched the first few minutes of the game, I would say that the Black Queens of Ghana are really on target in terms of their tenacity, their zeal, their determination, their possession of the ball, their reflexes, and especially in the heart of defense because we are very much aware of how physically and then how smart they are. So, Power for the Nigerians as they come forward. This time they do so from the uh, far right, getting close to the enemy territory. Well worked out and picked up by Nina Noshi. Up front so that he can thread those passes through, and that's how come Grace uh, Asatua keeps hold of the ball. But I've not seen the game plan still from the Black Queens. Sonia Opoku and Co. trying to attack from the right, it fizzles out as the Nigerians clear their lines nice and easy. Comes to the near side, plays the one and two nicely. Phobia picked up again, and a search forward by Grace Asantua. That's a lovely pass there. Can the Ghanaians get to it? Yes, they do. But they need the options. Ebi Onome with her experience to the rescue for the Nigerians. Super tackle, Prince. Onome. Good ball control by the Nigerians. They come forward from the near side. Good pass from Otu Regina. It goes all the way back and then to the near side it comes. Sunday Upeyemi has been dispossessed. But can the Ghanaians take advantage? There they go. This is looking prominent for the Ghanaians. This is Grace Enima. Tries to go around her marker. It's still a ding-dong battle. She's pushed down. But Ghana would recover. Sonia Opoku in there to help. And eventually it's cleared out. Ghana on the offensive once again. Good play. Ajibade Rashida. Long ball in. That was taken by Otu Regina. Chance coming the way of the Nigerians. Ghana finding it difficult to clear. Shot is on. Super save from uh, Ghana's number one, Fafali Dumehasi. Well placed by the Nigerians, but she reacted well. It's a corner kick advantage to the Super Falcons. Yeah, nearly the first goal for the Super Falcons, and it was uh, as he started to show with a killer. But great anticipation. What, what a save from Fafali. He has to stretch to her elastic limit. Super save. Corner kick is on. It's still dangling in there. Clearance by Porsche Abuach. It doesn't go too far. But for the last couple of years, Fafali Dumehasi plies her trade for police ladies. Nigeria pick up the pieces now as they come forward this time. They organize themselves from the far left. Beats one. Twisting and turning. Gets in the cross all right. And it says easy clearance for the Queens as they come forward now. Long telling pass from Sonia. Brought down nicely. An opportunity for the Black Queens. Can she go around and mark her? No. Princela Dubia, my expectation was that she would have done much, much better with that. Yeah, of obviously, she, it didn't work out. Yeah, of course, she could have done better. I mean, the counter-attack was excellent. 
and that ball to um, Prince Lo, uh, Prince was super. But yes, he couldn't go past that ma that lady in there. Very difficult to get into the half of the Queens. Ball cleared out by Regina Otu. Brought down nicely, but the Nigerians will take the advantage. This is Asisat Oshoala. Goes past two Ghanaians, but of course, there's always a block at the end of it all. But they would come forward again, the Nigerians. This is Otu Regina. A port as yet. Long ball into enemy territory. The Nigerians failed to clear first time. Gladys and Phobia could not stop the ball. So it's an opportunity for the Nigerians to come forward. This is Spain Antoinette. Stopped dead in her tracks by Janet Ejiri. To the near side, well read by the Nigerians. And then down she goes, attracting the uh, sympathy of the referee. Referee says no. The Nigerians on the offensive now. This is Spain Antoinette Oyepude. Into the 18 yard box. Ghana under attack. Safe, safe. Once again, by the name of Mercy Tegokwaku, she has done so much work on this current generation of Black Queens players. They feel so comfortable working with her. And I'm sure that will be much to the chagrin of many a people who think that she's not on top of her game. But Mercy Tego definitely in charge, making the Black Queens one of the better teams when it comes to African football. Skill from Monday Gift. She went past two players of the Black, Black uh, Queens. Good play by Prince Laidubia. She's going forward now. Lays on the pass to Enima. Unfortunately, Naomi Enima goes down. Goal kick advantage to the Nigerians. Whipped in by goalkeeper Chiamaka Cynthia. No, she pushes that up, uh, pushes that one ahead. Ejiri comes in to help. Pass is on. And it's an advantage for Ghana as they go forward. This is Grace Asantua. Tries to catch the goalkeeper unawares. The idea was good, but it just missed. Super play. Great build up. Quick reaction from the Ghana bench. I'm sure they wanted to, uh, they were fighting for a corner kick. Yeah, I thought Ch Chumaka also probably had a fingertips to that ball, but super play. Intelligent chip. Trying to lock that ball from that corner to the far corner. But goalkeeper Chamaka with a superb save. Chance gonna beg in for Ghana. It's now the turn of Asisa Toshuala to strike goal for the Nigerians. Quick reflexes once again from Fafali Dumeasi as we've done 45 minutes of uh, action and we have two minutes of time added on. In the dark green outfit, the Black Queens are sporting the traditional yellow, predominant yellow jerseys. First half ended goalless. And so let's see what kind of options uh, they would have as they thread play through the near side. The cross is in and that's a very solid, lovely cross from Justice Trinibua. Still dangling in there as the Ghanaians come forward. A shot on target. This should be a goal. And the Ghanaians have pulled one back. Tego Kwaku. Now that was the cross. Not well dealt with. But uh, you see the whip on that cross. Expertly done. But the finish. Absolutely incredible. And off she goes to celebrate. So Ghana find themselves in front as early in the second half Queens come forward again decent cross into the 18 yard box too many green shares they clear out they will still probe though Nina no she comes forward pushed out by the Nigerians and Nasisat is beaten clearly to it Justice Trinibua goes past one goes past two lays on the pass Good enough build up in Nima. And it's picked up by Justice Trinibua. She gets the crossing all right. Sonia could not finish the move. That's more like it from Ghana. She's number one for Fali. 
Dome has seen. The Super, super Falcons, they keep progressing, they keep creating some decent chances for themselves and wonderful skill, incredible skill from the captain, Asisato Shola, going past the right back. The, Nigeria, the Nigerians would want to work, from, from, uh, work one from that far flank, pushing the ladies into the 18-yard box. They still have the advantage of the throw-in. Sunday, once again. Opei miss pass. Goes straight to an opponent. Although it's picked up by the Nigerians. And the shot is blasted wide. The Super Falcons are already looking for straight at Prince. And after the goal, they've not had any rhythm. Nothing going for them. This is where we need to capitalize and make them pay. So Ghana come forward once again. This is Naomi. Prince Le Dubia. Long throw brought down by Asisat. An unfair challenge, says the referee, by Janet Ejiri. So the Nigerians will come forward. They've tried to attack from all angles, but it's not worked out. Careful defending by Black Wings. Now they come forward once again. This time from the right. Gladys and Phobia did well to get a foot in. And then she does well to block again. Ball will roll over the line. Good footwork by Enima. She's a delight to watch when she's on the ball. Naomi, Enima. Nigeria now come forward. This looks threatening. Still with the ball, Nigeria, they do well. And that was a lovely pass from Ajibade to the far side. To the rescue once again. Fafali Dumehasi. The Queens have taken their leg. Off. The Queens on from this free kick. Can they get the second goal? Grace Asantua is behind the ball. Let's see what the Real Betis lady can do. Two-woman wall formed by the Nigerians. Ajibade Rashidat is one of them. Ball floated into the 18-yard box against the goal post. How close could they have come? But the pressure is still on. The Ghanaians have another opportunity. She goes round her marker, sends in the cross. This is some upbeat pressure by the Black Queens. Yeah, this is more like it. I mean, they are creating chances for themselves, the Black Queens. But again, it was Prince Ladubia at the end of that cross. And what a header it was, hitting the post. But the rebound still meant that Ghana was still pushing for the second goal. And the goal area of the Super Falcons under siege. Corner kick advantage, Black Queens. Floated in nicely. Goalkeeper does well to punch out. Amphobia. Ebi will clear out for the Nigerians. Porsche gets that pass. Asisa Toshuala goes down. Dumehasi. Problems for Ghana now. Yeah. Let me quickly pick the thoughts of uh, Ghana moving forward. Goalkeeper Cynthia to the rescue. And I don't know why they are floating the ball into the eighth. Game continues as Ghana try and come forward. Nigerians will deal with it. Hold up. Yeah, it's Justice now. Trinibua is down. Yeah, it is Naomi Enima. Well, that's Naomi, I beg yeah, your pardon. the lady in the 13th Naomi shirt. Enima to play. Payne Antoinette. Stopped by the Ghanaians. But they've given the ball back to the Nigerians. Pick it up again. Big boots for a clearance up front. 
and which means that the Black Queens would have to work extra hard and cover up lost ground. Nigeria switch play to the far side. Some quick thinking. 66 minutes gone in the match. Ghana are playing 10 against 11. Grace Asantua. Ball has been taken away by the Nigerians and the Super Falcons are on the offensive. One of the last memorable games played here between these two teams was on the 14th of February. It was a Valentine's Day. Match ended goalless. They had to go into the penalty shootout. And that was when Memunatu Suleimana showed the best of her dexterity and caliber as a goalkeeper, saving, I think, two or three penalty kicks that the Black Queens have definitely not disgraced themselves. Free kick is swung in. The header is on. And uh, Fafali will add. Asisato Shuala with a shot, obviously. Not the kind of shot to beat Fafali Dumeyasi in goal. Five minutes of time added on. Five minutes of time added on. Ghana come forward. Throw in quickly effected. And the Nigerians will clear their lines. Pushed forward nicely now. Asanto has got space in front of her. She sets up the pass. Good ball control by Vivian as it's pushed on once again. And it's Prince Lai Dubia sandwiched between two Nigerian players. She goes down in the process. Ghana will still prove as they come forward. Time, obviously, not on the part of the Queens. He has been really good. She's shown a lot of flexibility on the ball. And despite her diminutive structure, she has not been very scared of the Nigerians, not at all. Yeah, she's been very daring on the right side. And this could be the last opportunity for the Black Queens to draw level. They are leading by one, but they are trailing by two goals to one on aggregate. Free kick is on for Ghana. It's a Santua who sends one in. Goalkeeper did well to get a fingertip to it. The ball has not entered the goal net. The shot is so far and over it, it goes. Oh my word. Corner kick advantage to the Black Queens. Appeals for the handball. It would not play. It would not count. Corner kick is swung, to, uh, swung in by Asantua. Poorly done, and the referee brings the match to an end. As gallant as they are, they fought for 90 minutes plus. The Black Queens managed to win this game by one goal to nil, as we see from the uh, replay of that last ditched effort. That nearly resulted in an own goal. They pushed, they pushed, and pushed again. But the Nigerians were resolute. One nil, it ended in favor of Ghana. Two one on aggregates for Nigeria. Ghana will not be at the next Africa Women's Cup of Nations. It's been a very, very strong and tough battle fought by the Black Queens.